welcome to Walk with TNL, taking you across the globe to experience the best walking tours on the planet. Today we're in beautiful Santa Fe, New Mexico. We're gonna get on an e-bike and do something a little different. Welcome to the San Miguel Mission here in the Barrio de Alnalco, in the heart of downtown Santa Fe. This is quite possibly the oldest church in the USA. It was constructed in the early 17th century by the Tashkalan Indians of Mexico, who helped the conquistadors overthrow the Aztec people. They had previously converted to Catholicism and built the church behind me as their mother church for their neighborhood. Only the foundation remains because the church was destroyed in 1680 during the Indian Pueblo Revolt that drove the Spanish out of the area. Twelve years later, after the Spanish had been driven out by the Puebloan people, they returned to Santa Fe and a restoration and reconstruction of the San Miguel Mission took place. And by the end of 1710, the Mission Church was complete once again. In 1872, a strong storm struck Santa Fe and the whole bell tower towering above me right now came down. And along with that came the San Jose bell, which you see now on the interior of the church. You can see in the inscription right here, it's been somewhat rubbed out. And some people think that this bell was actually cast in Spain and brought over on a ship. Other people believe that no, this bell was actually cast here in Santa Fe, New Mexico in 1856. Down deep below the altar are the original steps to the original San Miguel Mission. These steps date back to 1610. Up above is the altar screen, probably the most intact and most beautiful of the altar screens in the mission churches of its time. This was created by an artisan called the Laguna Santiero. We don't know a whole lot about the Laguna Santiero. What we do know is that he created many screens like this at other villages in the area and also at many of the northern pueblos here in New Mexico. Now let's hop back on the bikes and we're just gonna cruise right across the street to the oldest house. Built around 1700, this adobe structure, also known as the oldest house, was built on top of an ancient pueblo. This structure today serves as a living museum to depict what life may have been like hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Back in the ancient Puebloan days, oftentimes people lived underground in subterranean households. Often they would build ladders with a route that took them up and out onto the ground level up above. The adobe kept them nice and cool in summertime, and with a small Kiva fireplace, they were able to light a fire inside in winter and keep the heat underground with them. The heart of Santa Fe's art scene is Canyon Road. This historic road is home to over 100 galleries, sculpture gardens, and art studios. It is the highest concentration of art galleries in the United States. I love this gallery, the Whitford Gallery, which is home to Lehman Whitaker's wind sculptures. It's a beautiful day to be out riding up Canyon Road leisurely, headed up picturesque Santa Fe, and headed towards the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. The Santa Fe Rail Yards is a new urbanism arts district in the heart of Santa Fe. This is the site of the Santa Fe Farmers Market that happens every weekend. Behind me, there's a wide world of New Mexican style restaurants, art galleries, pubs, and breweries. Here in the Rail Yards is also the John Cocteau Cinema which is owned by renowned author George R.R. R. Martin, who penned the famous books Game of Thrones. 
The cinema has a gorgeous 3D mural painted on the back of it that George R. R. Martin hired French muralist John Pure to paint for him. Welcome to the Prescott Gallery and Sculpture Garden. The gallery is by uh, Fred Prescott, an American artist who's been working with steel, making sculptures for over 60 years. What's wonderful about the Prescott Gallery and Sculpture Garden is unlike museums and galleries, where you're not allowed to touch the art, here you are encouraged to play with the art and get things moving. All of these whimsical pieces of art obviously move with wind and with touch and some of them have the raw patinaed steel, others are powder coated here on site. But this place really brings out that Santa Fe magic and the inner child within all of us. You know, I love coming here to get in touch with my childhood, but really the electric bike, it's like a time machine where the moment you get on it and fire on that engine, you're instantly transported back to your childhood. Thank you for joining me on an e-bike tour of the City Different. I hope you come out and visit Santa Fe, New Mexico sometime. We'll see you soon. Thanks from Heritage Inspirations, and thank you for watching Walking with TNL.